What are the top three reasons a filmmaker will be rejected by a film festival? Well, I think one is, first thing, and something that I was thinking about this a little more, is at times something that's not even the fault of any filmmaker at all. It's uh, some festivals, and at times even we see it with ours, is there is a, you have a story you're telling that, that's, that's sort of redundant in the sense that it's a category that's very heavy in a certain area of like style of storytelling, right? So it could be sometimes dramas where there might be a certain type of story, sort of heavy family drama that might be sort of replicated by maybe 10 other films or even more that are telling some of the very similar story. Now, and that, if that happens, as, uh, as programmers, we're looking to program a diverse range of films. And are we going to show, you know, four or five, six of the same types of stories and films? And if we're only selecting 400 out of thousands of films, that's going to be hard to say yes to that. So sometimes it's no fault of anyone's. It's just more of a situation of percentages. Uh, you, and you're telling a story that might happen to be similar without getting into too many details of like specific story, like a, of an exact, exact story. I'm not going to like retell a story. But you know what I mean? Like, like it, it just it falls under something that, that you have. We're seeing in this whole submission pool, like identical stories essentially uh, sometimes even very identical to the point where if it's something if it's a work of um you know like uh you know i'm missing the, the exact verbiage here but like when a filmmaker takes a story that's uh like public domain and, and remakes a story whether it's stephen king short or something like that right and they tell that story you might see four submissions of the same exact movie which is kind of fascinating on our side we're like hey who did it better did it worse what worked they're all different movies but they're the same story so now you're seeing films they're literally the same story. So at that point, who's going to make it? Are we going to show all four of them, even if they're all great? I mean, you, it, it, hard to say yes to that. We're not going to show the same movie over and over. Um, and we've had it happen where actually two films that are the same films huh. have actually made it in. <laughs> the two same stories, but different types of films we made. Different films made, but the same story. So that can't happen. That was rare, but it, it has happened. But most times it's not going to, they're not going to get in. Like it's hard to say, okay, which one, if they're all great, or maybe none of them get in, but what if one gets in? Are we going to accept two more or another one, generally speaking, of the same story? Now, that's not something you can control as a filmmaker. How do you know you made a film? How do you know that someone else made the same film? How do you know they submitted the film? You wouldn't know that. So that's not something that you can actually control. So there's an element of uncontrollability with that. Then there's also the percentages. Uh, as I have mentioned, we have went from the early years, 23, 170, 500, 1,000, to now you know, we're talking 5,000 plus submissions. Same amount of spots. We're not increasing the festival to 800 slots. We're not going 14, 15 days. We're 10 days. We're around 400 films that generally make it, give or take, uh, based on runtime and everything. And, you know, five programs a day. And this is, and also within that, we have different categories. So we have to fill in the blanks of what can fit based on genre, need, and style, and things like that. Uh, family films, evening type stuff, you know, different styles for different times and things. So now the percentages are shrinking. How many films can make it in? How many fit in that criteria of all these films? So that is already inherently a, a competitive situation. You're talking five to maybe 10% of all submissions that will generally ex essentially get accepted. So now inherently that's already, we're saying potentially 90% may not even make it. And I'm not even talking about scores, I'm talking about anything else outside of just the numbers there. So then that's already, again, an, an inherent, honest portrayal of the, the competitive nature. So there's that. So then now outside of all that, then we get into, okay, now what's wrong? Then the next step is, the next thing we're looking at, of course, is any of the potential f flaws, whether it's technical stuff, technical issues that are, you know, whether it's just the obvious things of poor jump cuts or, you know, obviously boom, mic and shots, these kind of obvious things. Any of those things, that's it. That's like a sort of automatic uh, rejection of sorts. Basically, you're eliminating yourself in that sense, just because of those, those errors or edits or issues. Um, so there's that, and then you get into, okay, how's the acting? How's the, the storytelling? How's the writing? How's the cinematography? All the technical aspects of the film? You know, if, if, if some of those are okay and some of them are really poor, you're going to have a lower score. You're just going to get rejected. It's not going to make it. Um, you know, and again, that's the standard based on, we're talking our festival at this time. I don't know. Other festivals have less submissions. Maybe there's more slots or different things that they have going on. But when you look at that, that aspect of it. Those are, there's some of those elements that are, for us, it's sort of, it can, it can make it sort of automatic. Uh, you're sort of rejecting yourself in some sense. If there's some of those areas are, are flawed, and then of course the technical stuff is off, those things are sort of automatic. Then you get into, after all that, 
you know, what are we looking to program? How is the storytelling? Is it unique? That's a big thing. Like we're looking for at times watching so many films and our review team and myself watching so many films, it, it's always exciting and something that's something that's desirable that, you know, that a film and a story is very, you know, whether it's out, outside the box or just unique or different, um, stands out in a big way. You know, now that can be a lot of things, whether it's just very, whether it's very graphic or whatever, or whatever, whatever it's, if it's just something unique style of storytelling or visually very different or whatever that may mean. Um, but that, that's a big deal. Because that's going to, you're looking at all these films, and if something just could have rise to the top, because you're like, wait, this, I've never seen this before. This is something that's very unique. And we've never seen it before. We've seen all of these films. That's something that's obviously going to weigh on our minds. We're not going to forget that. So I guess we're long in the way of saying just try not to be forgettable. Be unforgettable. Make it, make it something that's just like wows everyone watching. That, that you walk away saying, well, I, I can't believe that film. That was amazing. Because, you know, uh, there are many stories that, that are, I guess, playing it safe. You know, where the filmmaker, storyteller is not really trying to push boundaries or not trying to, you know, not trying to do something different. They want to make, maybe it's just in the, in the filmmaking style. You know, maybe there's a lot of two shots, not trying to get into any, any too much. Can- now, I know there's budget restraints and things, of course, but within that, you have to be creative and show your style. If it's not, how is that going to stand out amongst the whole crowd of all these films? If you don't, your chances of being accepted at that point become very, very, very low. It's just, it just the numbers game is there. It's, it's very difficult. So... Yeah, I think it's a that's a without talking technical stuff. The big thing is when films are too, for lack of a better word, I guess vanilla. You're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. For us, at least, that's just definitely we've seen so many films. If nothing stands out about it, how is it going to be uh, unforgettable for us? If it's not unforgettable, then we're just we're probably just going to forget it in a, in a sense, right? So that's 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 important. You think people are taking less risk or more risk in terms of the storytelling aspect, pushing boundaries, sort of being these like agent provocateurs, like putting stuff out there that's like, whoa, and some people are going to be really offended by it? Or do you think it's it's less so? Have we become so sensitive? Yeah. Well, that's always a... Are we too PC? Yeah, uh, maybe. I mean, well, I don't know. It's tough to say because I see a lot of stuff that's not. So I'd say no then. But then at the same time, there is a lot of... We are also living in this new age of sort of being checked online, PC culture, like don't say this, don't say that, don't do this. And it's just this, this sort of, of course, we know there's like this online battle going on with all this stuff, whether it's cyberbullying or just people just sort the mob mentality of jumping on people for certain things. You say the wrong thing and it's forget about it and stuff like that. So um, that doesn't really, I, I still think that, that doesn't play much into the films. I think people are trying to really push boundaries, tell really great stories and, and share what they believe in and, and also show their vision and style. Because again, this is also goes back to the beginning of what it is. Shorts always were and still are, uh, at some degree, of course, a calling card. You're trying to say, hey, look at me, world. This is what I do. This is what I can do. This is my ability. I'm showing you this in what you know, what uh, restraints I'm up against. This is how much money I have. This is what I can do within this, this 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 restraint, right? Like, hey, I only got ten grand. This is what I got to make with it, and I can I can make a kick-ass film. Okay, well, that's what you're trying to do. So if you're trying to do that, you're not. I mean, you're making a, uh, you know. Uh, seven minute, you know, short that's just, you know, uh, I don't know, a, a drama that we've seen before retold a certain story that's been done many times by many filmmakers and there's nothing original to it and there's no new touch to it or anything else. It's like, you're not going to see many acceptances at that point. You know, it's like, it's going to, so you, you really want to see people take a chance, whether it's just something that's provocative or something that's adventurous or just out there or if it is political or something that's trying to make a stance or a stand or, or just, you know, make a big, a strong point. You still got to you got to try to show that voice. You got to try to do it, you know, and and yeah, yeah. I mean, look, all that said, though, some people do just want to make the film they want to make. You have to make your film. You can't try to make something and try to be someone you're not. So there's always that always always is that. But it, it's how you tell even the symbols of stories, how well you do it visually and how it's how you showcase your abilities is what it's about. Because we're trying to showcase what we feel are the best films in the world. That's the goal. That's the idea. So. If it doesn't fall under that or doesn't feel like that it belongs in that or it's that exciting, then why are we going to put all of our chips on it or really push it all forward and say, this is what we have to showcase, this has to be accepted, and these other ones have to get rejected. You take that place of all the other films. Yeah. It, it's like you almost have to like, you convince us, like, make us say why, like convince us. So that's, that's you know, that's part of it. Yeah, there was one film that I, I just, I can still see it to this day as it was about a woman who had been raped and she ended up having a child and she loved that child and the child finds out that it's a a product of rape, but 
I mean, that, that film was unbelievable. And I realized that some people would be very scared to do that, yeah. especially in today. But I mean, to me, I thought that was an amazing, I, I know you guys have shown some very, yeah. you know, things that really push boundary, but, but there, there's reasons for that and, and they're really amazing, so. I, yeah, no, and it's yeah. also, mm-hmm. for us, it's been a joy of like, we, we, we're in a position with this, as, and I've said it before, where we can, we have the opportunity to dictate what we want to do with the festival, with the style, with, with every, the, with, parties, events, whatever part of the plan of the event or whatever we show, whatever gets screened, it's, it's exciting to have obviously a say in something in this world, right? Where we can say, this is what yeah. we feel is the best way to do this. this is how we, and we believe in this and we can do that. So with that, we obviously have opportunity and, and, uh, and also responsibility to try to do the best we can with it. Mm-hmm. And if we're giving a stamp of approval, we're sort of trying to be as many festivals believe to be, gatekeepers are saying, this is what we need to show you as an audience. This is what you need to pay attention to Hollywood. Look at these filmmakers and these films, because this is what, what we believe are the best, the best is what we believe you need to look at. This is the film. These are the films you need to pay attention to. That's what we're doing. You're shining a light on these films. That's the, obviously what we're doing. You're saying these ones come take a look at these. The other ones didn't quite make it for various reasons or whatever. But these are the ones we believe in strongly. That you have to obviously come see these movies. So, you know, that's a responsibility that we also have to take serious, not just throw up anything on screen just because we, you know, feel like we owe someone something or something. That's just not, you know, that's not what that's about. But. You know, I think when the, the the more films and filmmakers are pushing those boundaries, well, a lot of festivals are, are doing like Sundance and they, they program a lot of stuff that you'll see over the years has, has also pushed boundaries, been mm-hmm. very, uh, you know, unique and aggressive in their storytelling, their styles and, and not pulling back or holding back for fear of what people react to or what they'd say. You know, that's, um, you know, especially if it's something that's a voice, you want to really share what you have to say and you believe it. It doesn't make sense to just to be restrained or pull back just based on fear of reaction or what people might think of you or something. That's not going to work. And if you do that, your 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 chances of being accepted at many festivals or any are very low at that point. So it's you know yeah, yes, you got to tell a story, you got to tell, but that also means if it is more of a, a film that doesn't require that kind of if it's not a provocative story or things like that. It can be more of a simple kids film or something. That's fine. But if it's the opposite and it's supposed to be right. this very provocative story and things don't also pull the curtain back or pull back a bit you know like it's I'm trying to think of a quote that um i saw recently that was dealing with that same subject of like you know when it came to a film that was very it was it was retelling a war story and they were saying there was responsibility to not you know pull back on how aggressive and awful that is because if you're not showing what that really is that you're doing that disservice the people think oh this is okay this is this is not that bad you know you can't walk away feeling that way. That's not what we should be portraying as a situation of showing what it means to be in war. War is violent, awful, and terrible, and sad. To make that feel like it's not, you know, that's a disservice. So that's something that I think people should really keep in mind, and that's something I've always kind of thought of when I think back to that quote. And forgive, I, I can't actually remember the exact quote. And exact, <laughs> so I'm paraphrasing someone of something I saw recently, and I remember and it stuck with me in a documentary I was watching. And it was, it's very important to, to, to show how how awful things like that can be. And, and if you're telling that story, not tell it in a PC way, you know, to make sure it, it is what it's supposed to be and it is also aggressive and things like that, or, or whether it is violent or, or sad or depressing, not make it less depressing. You mentioned the thing about rape and then like, don't make that be something that's like not awful or sad, like make it feel like it's just okay or just some kind of, that's then that's just doing total disservice to anyone who's ever been a victim of anything. Like that's, you know, it's very important to not have that be the case. And so, yeah, I right. guess long-winded answer is basically, yeah, just make sure to, I guess, go all the way. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and, and the filmmakers spoke afterwards, and, you know, they, they gave a very, um, I won't go into too much. Hopefully we can put a link to it um, in this video um, below. But, I mean, it was it was amazingly done, and, and they talked about it. And I remember I just went up to the filmmaker afterward and just, you know, thanked them because it was just, it was an incredible story. And although they were trying to show that this this mother loved this child um you know they had to go to certain places that might make certain people a little bit uncomfortable yeah and challenging for those actors and for Mm -hmm. everyone involved in the project and that's right but that's you know anything worth telling is is, you know it's needs to be that and that's that's exciting when you see that it's for us exciting we're like well wait wow we have a chance to actually show this and let this story be told and give it sort of a life Uh, if it's a world premiere like well we get to show this the first time like an audience can see this now and this is the work they've put in and the chances they've taken and now we get to showcase that that's you know that's pretty cool. So that's yeah, that's obviously something that we're, we're able to this do here. This is this is part of the, the blessing of being able to do this this work is, is showcase films like that. 
you know, and give them their chance or their, their or this is their first chance or their only chance or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, or if he's shown the movie 20 times already and we're like the 21st screening, okay, it's great, but we're getting a chance to show it to our audience and another audience can see it again. And that's, that's awesome. So that's something we're obviously don't take for granted.